Welcome back to Chatter on the Wire. Let's see what trouble I got myself into this week. Not very often you're going to find yourself in need of a product like this. I mean, it is an extender as well, but that's not why I purchased this. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Universal Ethernet to Wi-Fi adapter. So, it's ultimately for those devices that only have a wired port and you need wireless. Let me see how well this works. Not a lot coming in the box. Some documentation, short Cat5 cable, and then the device, let's see, what is that? Two inches by four maybe? I don't know, figure it out. Put about another two. Um, really wish the antennas were screw-on or removable, because I would like to potentially play with uh, putting some external antennas on this, depending on how well this works. Okay, not that you really care about seeing me, but we'll try this out. So I'll do a quick speed test here. Paying for 300 meg. I'm on a wired port right now, uh, directly in. And this isn't a true test of what this device will do, because this is an actual computer instead of a gaming device or whatnot, but it gives you a general idea. Do a second test just to make sure we get some semi-accurate uh, results here. Nothing like chopping it in half the second time. Maybe we'll have to do three tests. Okay, three tests it is. Okay, we'll come back in a sec. We'll try plugging the device wherever it is here. Straight into the uh, wall computer and see what it takes to actually get it set up to talk to my access point. Um, it does have WPS, that might be the way we do it. Uh, but I will be interested to see what IP range it gives and if this actually just is a bridge and it adds me onto the existing network or does its own oddity there. More to come. Okay, so I plugged the device into my computer, waited for a few seconds, and this screen actually popped up on its own here. Security network record to set login password. Oh. I just get to make one up. That's why there's no documentation there. Let's make this nice and simple. Nobody cares. We'll reset it later. Oh, even better. Not now. Nice security feature. Okay, so let's go ahead and tie into 5G1. Let's see. What is this password? And extended, yeah, sure. Yeah, no, okay, extended successfully. And Take a look at that. Let's see. Do we have speed test? Ultimately, is this working the way I think it was supposed to be working or not? No. Okay. Documentation here, anything in here. Again, I'm not looking specifically to use this as an extender. The whole idea was to use this for a device that uh, you needed to hook up to wireless. 
I didn't have that feature. Okay, well, let's do this. Maybe it just hadn't connected yet. And we'll do three tests again here on this speed. It is 5G, it's not that far across. Because the uh, AP is just on the other side of the room. But looks like we'll probably get fairly consistent results here. Uh, just shy of 100 and 20. But we'll try three again just in case. And it looks like that's what we're going to get here. So far for ease of setup, this was extremely simple. Uh, but again, that, this was on a uh, PC that I had a keyboard and everything else. I don't know if I initially tried to set this up on something else, how uh, easy or hard that would have been. Um, but now it's time to check... Uh, what I have for an IP now and what uh, network I'm currently on. Uh, maybe I can do it this way. Uh, what do I want to do? Traceroute.google.com. Hmm. 192.168.10.1, that would be my router for everything else. So this must be doing bridging directly, if I recall correctly, which is actually very good for what uh, my ultimate use case is uh, for this. So um, I will have to follow up with my buddy who asked me specifically about this to see if this may work for him. I don't know what the distance he was trying to go to, though. More on that maybe later. Okay, close that out. Anyways, just a quick little video on a $35 product uh, to act as a bridge, and it's also a wireless extender. But again, wireless extender was not why I was purchasing this. I was looking at it specifically for uh, devices that didn't have wireless, that didn't have USB. Um, uh, specific case that I'm looking at it for is a device that sits out in a dairy and has a network port but of course the dairy is out in the middle of nowhere and they need to get a wireless connection to it so we will see if this works for them or not um, if not I'll be pulling this thing apart and seeing if we can put external antennas on it or something else but again for 35 bucks uh, this may be a very quick and easy fix for what they were looking at. So fast forward a few days, uh, busy finishing this video up here, as you can see in the background there. Uh, went out to the dairy today though and tested this out. Unfortunately, it did not work there. I'm not sure if this went down to the antennas um, or the fact that it was concrete walls with rebar, probably like 10 inches thick there, plus concrete floor, with uh, metal, et cetera. Um, very difficult environment for uh, this type of wireless, especially with these small antennas and the fact that they are the omnidirectional and we're on different floors and stuff like that. So um, we're gonna revisit this uh, with the dairy at some point in the future. Um, I think once we figured out what all was going on there, we may just go ahead and end up running a hard uh, wire. Uh, it's not that far and it'll probably actually be the easiest way to make this all work and keep things running in the long run. One of the 
unique or interesting things here is, um, I don't know if you noticed it in the previous video, it asks like when you connect to 5G, it's gonna go ahead and add on a extension five uh, or extender 5G uh, network type deal. What I noticed today is even if you use 2.4 gigahertz, it will create uh, both a 2.4 and a 5 extended version. So I don't know when you're setting that up if it, all it's really doing is uh, setting up the communication back and forth to the main AP there. Uh, things for me to test more later, but uh, the next video on this will probably be this thing dismantled to end, adding in some external antennas or, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, maybe it'll just become a target for down the road too. I have no real use for this now that it didn't work out in this project, but for 35 bucks, it was well worth the test. Anyways, thanks for joining me. Well, that's it for this installment. Please think about hitting the like button, subscribing if you aren't already, and clicking on one of the other videos. See you in the next one.